Welcome football fans to St. Louis, Missouri. I'm Dave Stevens along with my partner, Mike Steele. This game is shaping up to be really exciting, Dave. Both teams are primed and ready for some football. You said it, Mike. Well, let's play some football. Lining up for the kickoff. Hoffman kicks it off. Fielded at the 8-yard line. Makes the return up to the 22. He hurls one deep to the left side of the field. That'll be enough for the first down. That's a great pitch and catch for the first down. First down. He hands it to number 26. Second down. Second and short. brought down by number 32 that'll be enough for the first down first down the QB dropping back he makes the throw it's caught for the score what a play that is what football is all about. It's up. It's good. Miami goes out in front today. Seven, nothing. The home team is back on their heels now. But if they can come out and match that score, it'll swing the momentum back in their favor. Black kicks a deep one into the end zone. The kick is caught at the two. Makes the return up to the 19-yard line. The home team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. The racers will begin the drive from the 21-yard line. He makes the pitch. Chandler gives it away. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. When you can pick up the first by running, it really opens up your playbook for the next set of downs. Chandler makes the handoff. Brought down. Lining up on second down. Tonight. Missed tackle on the defense. That will bring up third down.
Chandler looking to pass. Peter makes the catch. Well, that'll wrap things up for the first. The Warriors with the lead. Seven, nothing. A fresh set of downs for the offense. Hike. He sends one. Makes the catch. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. Tight end on the right side. Go! Chandler makes the handoff. That brings up second down. Second down. Riley takes the carry. Brought down almost immediately at the 23-yard line. That brings up a crucial third down. Third down. The QB makes the toss. Tackled near the line by Weber. Fourth down. A conservative run call on third and long. You don't want to unnecessarily take any risks there and end up in a situation that's difficult to recover from. It's up. It's good. They convert from 33 yards out. St. Louis reclaims some lost ground. 7-3. The home team pulls it into a one-score game there. Hoffman boots it. Taken at the 10-yard line. And he's brought down after a return of 14. The offense comes into this drive with a one-possession lead. I'm looking for them to try and take a chunk of time off the clock and grab another score. The quarterback with the handoff. Finally taken down up near the 38-yard line. And that's enough for a first down. The away team from the gun. First down. The quarterback steps back into the pocket. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. There is a flag on the play. St. Louis accepts the penalty. The team that stays focused and mistake-free usually wins the game. Second down and long. Go! The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. He hands it to the runner. St. Louis uses their first time out. That's a safe play on third down. When you've got a long way to go, sometimes you're better off just picking up a few yards and kicking it. The punt's away. Harper takes the punt. Makes the return up to the 19-yard line. Let's see what the offense can do with this drive. I'm sure they'd love to go down and put an end to this lead they're facing. Hey. 
Dropping back. He makes the throw out to the sideline. Nothing puts the defense on their heels like a quick first down. It backs them up and keeps them guessing. The Racers with two receivers. Chandler dropping back. Incomplete. Chandler steps back into the pocket, makes the catch. He's taken down. That will bring up first down. He steps back to pass. And he misses his mark. Second down. Chandler steps back into the pocket. And he misses his mark. Two wide receivers for the racers. Chandler looking to pass. It's caught by number 87. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. Now, some fans may think he's really forced the pass in, but honestly, Dave, that's just chemistry and timing. He trusts his guy. He sets up and throws to the left side. The receiver can't bring it in. The Racers lines up with two tight ends. Steps into the pocket. It's caught for the score! Great execution by several key players to get that touchdown. St. Louis is set to kick the extra point. It's up! And it's good! St. Louis will pull ahead with the score 10 7. We may be seeing a big momentum shift here, Dave. Taking the lead like that does a lot for a team's confidence. Hoffman kicks it away. Bugai takes the kick. Tackled after a return of 14. The away team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. Let's see what they do on first down. He tosses one. The ball falls to the ground. Incomplete. Second play of the drive for Miami. There is a flag on the play. Incomplete. Let's see how the penalty affects things. Miami accepts the penalty. Penalties can be real drive killers or savers. The offense comes out with a single back. Number five, dropping back, and they can't connect, incomplete. A crucial third down for the offense. He drops back, finds a target. He can't make the catch. When it's third and long, sometimes you've got to throw it downfield, even when you know that's exactly what the defense is expecting. It just didn't work out for them at that time. He punts it away. Harper takes the kick. And he's brought down after a return of seven. If the offense can get another score in this drive here, it will really put the pressure on. The Racers begins the drive from the 31. 
He drops back to pass. Number 99 makes the sack. The offense will lose about five. That will do it for the second. St. Louis with the edge so far. 10, 7. Out onto the field comes the kicking team. Black kicks this one away. Arnold catches the kickoff. And he's brought down after a return of 17. Emma Adams is down on the field and has some information for us. Thanks, Dave. I had a chance to discuss the first half with the coach for the racers. He seems pleased with his secondary after an impressive showing in the first half. He thinks they'll be in good shape if they can maintain that aggressiveness and create a few turnovers. Back to you. Emma, thank you. Tackle made by Newman. Second down. He takes the ball. It's runs like that, Dave, that helps set the tone for this game. Nothing fancy, just our guys beat your guys. Chandler makes the handoff. He's tackled at the 28. That brings up second down. Second and long. Go. That gets us to third down. Let's see what the call is on third down. Brings up fourth down. The offense was expecting heavy pass coverage over the top and wisely ran the ball to pick up a few yards. Number nine on the punt. And the punt sails into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20 yard line. The away team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. Number five, looking to pass, complete, taken down. Second down. Dropping back, makes the throw, Todd makes the reception. That will bring up first down. The Warriors with a single back in the backfield. Todd on the run. Tackled near the line, back at the 31 yard line. That brings up second down. Number five, dropping back, throws the ball past the first down marker. The third quarter comes to a close. St. Louis leading 10-7. A crucial third down for the offense. He throws one. The receiver can't bring it in. 
When it's third and long, sometimes you've got to throw it downfield, even when you know that's exactly what the defense is expecting. It just didn't work out for them at that time. Hike! Sattler on the punt. Harper catches the punt, makes the return up to the 28-yard line. This drive coming up is a good chance for the offense to give themselves a bit of breathing room. The Racers will begin the drive from the 29. Hike. Chandler pitching it out. He shakes off the tackler. Second down. Tight end right for the offense. Chandler looking to pass. Incomplete pass. Third down. Chandler back to pass. There's a penalty marker on the field. He's stopped up at the 40-yard line. We'll see if the penalty affects the outcome. St. Louis is going to go with the results of the play instead of the penalty. That will move the chains. Chandler gives it away. Stopped before he could break loose at the 42-yard line. That brings up second down. He hands it to the runner. That brings up a crucial third down. The runner shakes off the tackle. First down. There looks to be an injury down on the field. The Racers comes out with a single back. Chandler steps back into the pocket, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 46-yard line. That gets us to second down. Passes one to the back. Miami uses their first time out. Coming out in a two receiver set. He is sacked in the backfield by number 98. Miami calls timeout. A smart play by the offense. Everything was covered downfield, and you don't want to force one in. Throw it short and see if the receiver can make a play to get the first down. This punt will sail out of bounds. This is a pressure drive for the offense. They've got a chance to pull back into the driver's seat with a score on this possession. The offense will begin the drive from the 15-yard line. The QB, back to pass. He makes the throw up beyond the first down. He can't make the catch. Tight end right for the away team. Drops back into the pocket. Finds a target. He can't make the catch. Third 
and down. Throws it along. Intercepted by number 53. And he's forced out. It's hard to do, Dave, but you've got to let it go. Own the mistake and move forward. This QB is better than that one mistake. The offense will be looking to turn that turnover into points on this drive. He drops back to pass. Throws it across. And it's caught for a touchdown. Huge credit goes to the blockers on that touchdown. That really paved the way right into the end zone. Hoffman on the kick. And it's good. St. Louis adds another score. 17 7. The home team is really moving out in front of this matchup. Hoffman boots it. Fielded at the six yard line. And he's brought down after a return of 18. It needs to be go time for the offense. They need to stop messing around. Tighten up your chin strap and get ready to drive the ball down the field. Steps into the pocket. Incomplete. Miami lines up with two tight ends. Go! Incomplete. Drops back into the pocket. Smith brings him down in the backfield. Loss of seven. Miami takes their last time out. Fourth down. They were able to make the completion, but they'll come up well short of the first down. Dropping back. Throws a pass deep over the top to the middle of the field. The offense took a risk going for it on fourth down and were able to move the chains. Hike. Sets his feet and throws high over the center of the field. The tackle is made. Huge play here, Dave. Nearly broke it wide open. They've got the makings of a fantastic drive here. Number five, dropping back. The receiver can't bring it in. He throws one. The pass is intercepted by number 21. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback bounces back after that pick. The home team has built up a nice lead and should focus on extending this drive as long as possible to eat up that clock. That brings up second down. Two tight ends for St. Louis. Okay, Mike, well, we've waited all game. Let's hear who the stud of the game is. For me, it's got to be Chandler for the home team. He clearly was the most influential player of the game. 